Say you do not have access or cannot afford Gaussian, as was in my case. Is there another way that you can generate ESP maps for free? And the answer is yes, you can. I'm going to show you today how you can turn this example molecule that I've chosen, acetic acid, into this beautiful ESP map. In order to do that, we will need to use three programs in our workflow. The first one being Avogadro. This allows you to generate the skeletal structure of the molecule or compound and to optimize its geometry. It also allows you to generate an input for our next program, Orca, which is a program package that allows you to do the quantum calculations necessary in order to generate the ESP maps. We will also use a Python script along with it that just makes the process a whole lot more user friendly. And then finally, we will use Chimera to visualize the ESP map and help color it in. I will link to the websites where you can download the software packages as well as the Python script because it was not created by me. I will link to the original creator in the description to their GitHub page. Without further ado, let's get started. We are first going to draw the molecule of interest. In this case, I've chosen acetic acid. We're now going to optimize the structure. We're going to reduce the molecular strain and get the molecule to the more ideal shape that it should be. Now that that's done, we're going to go to extensions, ORCA, generate ORCA input. We're going to replace the pre-chosen basis set with a new one, just more accurate, along with the keyword keep dens, which stands for keep densities. It's going to output the densities as a file that we can use to generate the ESP maps. Going to save the file in a dedicated folder. You can see ESP maps. We have folders for Avogadro, Orca, Chimera. In Orca, I've created a dedicated folder, acetic. And I'm going to save the file as acetic.imp. Now that that's done, I'm going to save this session of Avogadro in case I ever want to come back and modify anything. It's already drawn. There we go. I've saved an Avogadro. I've saved it as acetic. save and we're done with Avogadro. Now we're going to open up command prompt and navigate to the folder that has our input file. We're going to copy the path and in command prompt we're going to type cd for change directory. Then we're going to paste in the file path and hit enter. Once there we are going to type orca the name of our input file, acetic.imp uh, output, and then whatever we want to name it. I like the same convention, so I called it acetic.out. And this is why I like to have a dedicated folder. You see all the tons of files that get generated here, but don't worry, it's soon going to be condensed down like that. Now we're going to do orca underscore plot and we're going to see if the density file is good. Remember the keyword dense, keep dense. All right, that's good. So now we're gonna do orca underscore plot again. The name, so acetic dot gbw negative i. And then that's going to bring up this software. So we're gonna hit one to assign the type of plot that we want it to calculate. If we scroll up, see number two is what we want, electron density. So we're going to go back to the, the input line, type in two and hit enter. And that's the name we want, so we're going to click Y and enter. 
Now we're going to hit number four and set basically the resolution of the of the map. So if we hit four, we want it to be 120. That's pretty standard. Then we're going to select five. We're going to choose the type of output file. We want a Gaussian cube. So number seven, we hit seven and enter. And now we're good to plot. So we just hit 11 and generate the plot. This shouldn't take that long. Depending on your computer, it could take longer or faster. And there we go, we're done with that. So we're gonna hit 12 to exit out of the program. Now we're gonna use that Python script that I talked about earlier, the met.py, and we already added it to this folder, so we don't have to navigate to it and find it. So python.exe, map.py, the name of their folder we are in, so acetic, and then the resolution, 120. And you hit enter, and this can take a while. For my computer, it did it pretty fast. I've waited nine minutes sometimes for some molecules to calculate. And you see, it'll be done here pretty soon, because I've cut the video this way. And there we are. Took... 66 seconds real time and we're done now with orca and command prompt so we can go ahead and close out of it now we're going to move into using chimera to visualize the maps so we're going to navigate to the folder that we did all of the orca calculations in so acetic then we're going to find acetic.xyz. It's basically the skeleton of the structure that we want. Go ahead and open that. And then I like to change it so it's ball and stick model and the carbon atoms are colored gray. So we're gonna go to actions, atoms and bonds, ball and stick. Next we're gonna go to actions, color, and then we're gonna choose by element. And then I rotated the structure to make it nice to look at. Now we're gonna to go to tools, volume data, volume viewer. We're going to open the map. So we wanna find the ldins.cube. So acetic.ldins.cube. We're going to open that. And we're gonna change the level to 0 0.002, which basically is like the van der Waals radius. There we go, let's just add that extra zero in there. Now we're going to go to tools. We're gonna to go to surface color. And we're gonna make sure it's by electrostatic potential. We're gonna to browse to the new file. We're gonna to go to the map.cube. And then here for the colors, we're gonna change their transparency to 0 0.619. I found this to be the best for being able to still see the map, but also see the structure underneath. So we're gonna do it for each of these colors. It's not too transparent, not too opaque. All right, then we're gonna hit color. Now we need to change these values. So green's gonna be our neutral, so 0, 0.0. Yellow is slightly more electronegative, so negative 0 0.01. And then red is the most, so negative 0 0.03. These values are arbitrary, but there is a scale between them that's relative. So then 0 0.01 for cyan, and then for dark blue, 0 0.03. Hit color again, just to make sure. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and close out of this. Close. Now we're going to save the image. You should see there's the, the map. It's giving you a better view. Finding an orientation that I like. Now we can save the image. So we're going to go to File save image 
navigate to the Chimera folder, and then we're going to save it there. So just call it whatever you want. I would like to do the name of the molecule, and then add MEPS or ESP to the end to let me know that it was an ESP MEP. Everything looks good. Make sure I like to have a transparent background so then I can just put it on any background I want. So like a Word document or PowerPoint. Lastly, I'm going to save the session in case I ever want to come back. I like to just name it again, the molecule and then chimera.py and save. We can close out of chimera now, we're done with it. If we navigate to the chimera folder that we made, there's the image. And we're basically done. That's all there is to it. So to recap, using three programs in a Python script, Avogadro, Orca, map.py, and Chimera, we were able to generate an ESP map of acetic acid. I hope that this video was helpful to whoever needed it, and thank you.